man, what a season. It was a grind for sure, but we ended up killing several ducks towards the end of the year, which capped our year off. And we're pretty happy with it. But what's even better is that all of a sudden, the farm has filled up with ducks this week off, and we've got a house full of kids to celebrate it with tomorrow. I remember when I was a kid, you were asking buddies and asking buddies' parents just to maybe if they can make a spot for you, you know, we'll make one more hole for you to be able to go this juvenile. And instead of being the little kid sitting at home at night hoping he gets to go the next day, I'm the guy making the calls and rounding all these kids up. And or they don't have a clue or care what we shoot or how many, it doesn't matter to them. But in the back of my mind, I know we're gonna have a big time. I first found Mallard Estate from a dude that I knew that guided at Mallard Estate. And then we later found it on Instagram and just ever since we've been following and we had the privilege to come this year. You hear about it from a friend and everyone that we told them that we were coming here, they were like all excited because they about it and because they knew that it was a happening place for duck hunting. The plan initially was I had some bigger kids that I was carrying to a smaller field and we filled another blind up full of kids that were shooting like four tens and 20 gauge, you know, and it wasn't many of them. And I thought that where we were going, we were going to smoke them. And right at daylight, we ran a bunch of ducks out, but it was kind of weird because there's a full moon and I know they fed all night long. So when we ran them out, they didn't come back and man, it was like, clockwork every three or four minutes these kids over here in this other blind were violent so I looked at my boys and I said it's time to pack her up you know when you got it when you're turkey hunting and a turkey's gobbling in another field and you're sitting somewhere else you're gonna pack up and move and that's exactly what we did we went and got in the blind with these other kids and we ended up they needed the help and my boys that I had helped them pretty good As the afternoon went on, it got pretty hot. It ended up being one of the better late afternoons that we've had this last quarter of the season. And man, you can just look at those kids and tell that they didn't care. They were just happy to be there looking at the ducks in there, and that's something that all us adults can take from this hunt right here. I mean, it just humbles you to know that these kids don't care. They're just glad to be here. Most of the time during juvenile, this field, this particularly, this field that we were hunting is full of mallards and pintails and all that kind of stuff. And it was just, it was weird. It was just a trashy kind of day. We killed some gray ducks and some, some teal and some shovelers and stuff like that. But the butterballs, I mean, it was hundreds of them. They would come over wave after wave and you shot into them just like teal. It was unbelievable. I hadn't seen that amount of butterballs or jacks, what people call them, here on this farm ever in our career. And it, it was just crazy, and, how, and the kids loved it. I mean, it was nothing but action pack over and over and over. They didn't care if they were shooting a crow. They just wanted to shoot their guns, and that's exactly what we did all day long. So when the sun set that afternoon, it dawned on me, it's over, that's it. We don't get to pick up our calls or anything for a year. But Joe Dirt said it best. You gotta keep on keeping on. The work starts now. Look forward to bringing y'all more content next season. Cheers, boys. You got too much coffee. <laughs> <laughs>